Hello there guys. Now for this video I'm going to talk about something that I haven't, I haven't seen anyone else talk about with Thomas and the Magic Railroad and I'm going to be talking about why this movie ultimately ruins the Thomas and Friends franchise. Because here's the thing guys, Thomas and the Magic Railroad is a film I absolutely hate and it's a film that goes from being a movie that is that is basically not the best Thomas and Friends movie to basically basically an absolute garbage film. Now, when Thomas and the Magic Railroad was coming out, the franchise had already gained so popular with the TV series that began first all the, first began all the way back in 1984. And from 1984 all the way to 1998, there had been a total of 5 seasons that the show had produced. produced with each series having a total of 26 episodes for the first for each five of them. And, you know, Thomas and Friends was massively popular back in the 1980s and 1990s. 90s, and it, these seasons definitely deserve a lot of appreciation, especially with how popular, popular, like, like I know these were very popular back in the old time periods, but I feel like now in modern days, a lot of people should definitely give these a lot of recommendation to people who have, haven't heard of the franchise. Because if you're someone who is watching this franchise, who is wanting to get into Thomas and Friends, then these seasons are honestly the best ones to start off with, series one to five. Because these are considered the golden seasons of Thomas and Friends. Because of a number of reasons. Because these seasons have just fantastic story writing in them. And they have well-developed characters in them. And they became so popular with audiences. And people just absolutely loved, loved watching these seasons back in the 1980s all the way to the 1990s. They were so, so popular. However, though, after Series 5 of Thomas and Friends, along came the dumpster fire Thomas and the Magic Railroad. And then the franchise just went downhill completely from that point onwards. Onwards. Because the movie was an absolute failure. failure. It got absolutely hated on from critics and audiences. Since people just absolutely hated this movie just purely because it was too confusing. And it resembled nothing that the TV series had. So, yeah. yeah. And, like, if you go onto many review websites, there have been a, a lot of, of negative feedbacks. I mean, look at Metacritic overwhelming dislike it's like so yeah like this movie has been massively just heated on heated on for the past years as and still to this day it's heated on and i think it's no wonder why because of how much this movie just ruined thomas and friends afterwards now while the franchise did get a little bit back on track with series six and seven although series six and seven Avin 7, while they were produced by the same people, Britt Allcroft was not involved, was not involved in the making of series 6 and 7, Evan, because those two seasons were written by a completely new writing team, and David Mitten, while he did write a few episodes for series 6, that was the last season he ever wrote episodes for, or, or, because with series 7 he didn't write any. Now, he would continue to be a director for series 6 and 7, but then in 2002, ooh, after, like, in 2002, ooh, Britt Allcroft's company, which had been retitled to Galen Entertainment, Entertainment, round about near the end of 2000, had been purchased by Hit Entertainment in 2002. And so after that, Hit Entertainment wanted to reboot Thomas and Friends and made five seasons, series eight, and like they wanted to reboot this franchise and make it for a much younger demographic. And so from 2004 to 2008, there were five I've model seasons made, four full model seasons and one hybrid series, which, uh, which, which is the seasons from series eight to 12. And then shortly after that, came four CGI series seasons of the show. And yeah, like we all know how much criticism these two errors of Thomas and Friends have got. The hit error from series eight to twelve 
and the nitrogen error from series 13 to 16. Now, shortly after that, after that, the shore actually did start getting back on track because from roundabout in 2011 or 2012, Hit Entertainment got bought out by Mattel. Oh, and so Mattel oh, rebooted Thomas and Friends in 2013 with Series 17. And then from 2013 to 2017, the franchise started getting back together and a lot of fans started coming back to the franchise. franchise. And many people were loving it. And I th all this praise sh should go back to Andrew Brenner because he was the guy who was the head writer from Series 17 to 21. And he actually wrote magazine stories for Thomas and Friends back in the 1990s. So having him as the head writer for the series honestly is honestly a really good idea. However, though, or in 2018, though, Mattel rebooted Thomas and Friends again and with an era known as Big World Big Adventures. And this era ended up being an absolute disaster. Aster. Partly because of just, and there was so much negative hatred towards this era. So many people absolutely hated it. Hated it. The episodes having really low ratings on IMDb. The show itself of aired on was airing on television for a very inconvenient time for fans and kids to watch. And not only that though, but I've actually read heard heard from some heard heard from heard some rumors that Big World Big Adventures, the film, it was only shown in America in cinemas once for like one day in the USA. And then it wasn't released on television until a year later in 2018. 18. Oh, wait, no, 2019. So it was released east on DVD like a year after the film had been released in the US E once in theaters. Years. And yeah, so it's safe to say that this era was just a complete disaster. Aster. Now, partly why this error was made in the first place was because Mattel, as merchandise that they made with the Thomas and Friends franchise, just was not selling very well because of a lot of people just not liking it. And so Mattel decided, figured this reboot would help them get their money back, but that didn't happen. And instead, this reboot ended up being a massive big failure. And after this revamp then backfired horribly, Mattel then cancelled Big World Big Adventures completely. Eatly. And so, yeah, that's mainly, mainly what the history of the show has been like. And then after that would come All Engines Go, but I'm not going to talk about that. So, yeah. But, like, Thomas and the Magic Railroad, this movie is just the main thing to blame for the whole franchise going downhill. Hell. Like, I don't want, like, I don't just hate this movie because it's, because it lacks everything that the show made. And I don't just hate it because it ruined the franchise and made it go downhill. I also just partly hate it because of how so many people try to, like, like how so many people are trying to pass this film off, film off and, and that people, and that we shouldn't criticise it. Because, like, Britt Allcroft is the person to blame for the whole franchise going downhill. She was the one who was in control of the franchise. And this movie just was a massive big failure. And it just baffles me how this doesn't even feel like this was made by her. This movie feels like it was written and directed by a completely different person. But no, it was written and directed by Britt Allcroft. And it just really, really confuses me. Because she wrote oh, so many of the episodes from Series 5 out of Thomas and Friends. And, and she wrote a few for series, series, for, for series 4. And I think she wrote a few of them for Series 3 as well. And her writing style has been honestly really good from the classic era of Thomas and Friends. And with how she's gone. Now, granted, not all of the episodes she wrote from that era were the best. Because there were a few... Well, there were a few bad ones that she did write. Like Rusty to the Rescue and a few others. So, yeah. But, like, I think... But, like, given how this movie does not have David Mitten as the director, I think that's partly another reason as to why this also failed. Because without David Mitten being the director of Thomas and the Magic Railroad, Railroad and without him improvising the script for Britt Allcroft to tell her, tell her what he wants for the movie, movie, it's honestly just no wonder why this movie just doesn't have the same charm like the TV series had, it lacks all of the great clever writing from series one to five of Thomas and Friends. 
and it it, it it just it just lacks all of it all of it it has and not to mention how this movie has nothing that was nothing at all that resembles the source material it has absolutely nothing to do with thomas and friends this movie and it just is just a complete insult to the franchise this movie movie it's a complete insult to the book series and the tv series and I just really don't would like to know what was Britt Allcroft trying to accomplish with this movie. Because I generally just can't help but look at this movie and think to myself, and I generally just have to say this, Britt Allcroft, what the fuck were you thinking about when you made this movie? Like, seriously. Like, what the fuck were you thinking about? Like, that's the big question I have the most. Because I generally have no idea as to what she was trying to achieve with Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Because even if you look into the final, the original cut version of this movie, like, it still would have been a complete disaster. And I bet it would have done, it would have honestly have done just as bad at the box office, if if not worse. Us. And, you know, I generally just, I mean, just, like, it generally just confuses me what she wanted to do with this movie. Movie. Like, she must have realised that this clearly is not canon to the Thomas and Friends franchise. Because the next season of the show that came out two years later, after Thomas and the Magic Railroad came out in 2002, which was series six, that series completely ignores the events of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Railroad. It completely ignores that movie. I'm honestly thankful it does. Us. Us. But, but like, that really just makes me question... Did Britt Allcroft think that Thomas and the Magic Railroad would just be a completely separate timeline of the franchise? Is that what she's trying to see? Because that's generally what it feels like. It really just feels like that. And I generally just hate the movie so much. And not only that, though, guys, but I honestly, I'm honestly, honestly would like to mainly just forget about Thomas and the Magic Railroad and just pretend it doesn't exist. Because plenty of other Thomas and Friends fan-made movies on YouTube are so much better than Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Like this one right here called The Magic Railroad Parody. Parody. This, this version is so much better than the actual Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Railroad. Many other Thomas and Friends fan-made films, films that I've seen on YouTube are a million times better than Thomas and the Magic Railroad in every way possible. Possible. Because... There are plenty of other fan-made Thomas and Friends movies that are better than this fucking piece of garbage. 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 Because, like, that's... Like, I generally just would like to know what Britt Allcroft was trying to accomplish with this movie. Because I, it really just feels like she just wanted to make this movie just for the sake of childhood nostalgia. Alja. That, like, that's what it feels like. It feels like, I feel like she just made this movie just for the sake of childhood nostalgia. Alja. Because it really just feels like that. At This movie just is completely spectacle with no heart and effort put into it whatsoever. It's just a complete fucking garbage movie. Movie. It's absolute garbage, this movie. 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 Now, guys, look. Look, look, look. Now, guys, look, hear me out, okay? I don't want to be disrespecting, like, like the people who made this movie, but I generally just can't help but look at this movie and generally question myself, how the fuck did you guys think this was a good idea to make a movie like this in the first place? And, like, I really just don't get why people, people are trying to defend Britt Allcroft for making this movie. But yet, like, that's something that else that really really just confuses me and really questions me like 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 i've seen so many thomas and friends fans over like the past like 15 15 to 20 years who constantly who like like i've seen a bunch of them who constantly hate on hit entertainment for ruining the franchise like with some like with the hit entertainment model seasons series 8 to 12 and the cgi seasons from series it was 13 to 16 and also and also their films they've made like calling all engines misty allen rescue and d of the diesels and i've seen so many people constantly hate on mattel when they've ruined the franchise as well like with the uh merchandise that they've made the blubber era and most infamously all engines go 
Like, I've seen a lot of people here on Hit Entertainment and Mattel when they just when they ruin the franchise. But yeah, I see a bunch of Thomas and Friends fans defend Britt Allcroft on every way possible. Like, I really don't get why people, why, sh why, why should we defend Britt Allcroft for making this movie? There is literally no fucking reason to defend her for making this movie. movie. And I really just don't get why people are trying to excuse and give this movie a pass just because it's a movie made by Britt Allcroft. Allcroft. Just because she created our childhoods. 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 And the fact that a bunch of people... And I bet there'll be a bunch of people who will just hate on me seeing that she had good intentions with the franchise. Well, let me tell you this, though, guys. Good intentions mean nothing if this movie, movie ended up being a complete disaster. And guess what? This movie was a complete disaster. It absolutely bombed at the box office, Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and was massively hated on. So, yeah, I don't see that as good intentions to the franchise. So, yeah. So, yeah, like, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Like, Thomas and the Magic Railroad just completely ruins the TV series, and it just completely ruined the franchise on ever going back to back to normal because nothing has changed with this franchise for the past 24 years now because now when everyone thinks of Thomas and Friends all they can think about is this garbage film because this movie just changed the way the public just viewed the franchise as a whole so yeah like this movie is just absolute garbage it's absolute garbage garbage and for the rest of the future, I'm just not going to talk about Thomas and the Magic Railroad ever again. And, 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 like, the only time I'll ever talk about this movie is, like, like, I'll, like, I will occasionally talk about this movie only through little things. Like, I'll keep on making videos of me destroying DVD copies, VHS tape copies and Blu-ray copies of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I'll continue doing that because of how much I hate this movie. And I'll talk about this movie in some ranking videos I may do in the future and, and, and also in some tier lists. And if there is some kind of theory about this movie that comes out as to what Britt Allcroft's original idea with the movie was in the first place, then sure, then sure, I'll be willing to discuss that. As that. As that. I'll I'll be completely on board and willing to discuss that if that ever happens. So yeah, Thomas and the Magic Railroad, it's a film, it's a Thomas and Friends movie, and I fucking hate it so much. I fucking hate this movie so much. I really do. Ew. Ew. And not only that though, guys, but this may get some hate, but I don't care. Thomas and the Magic Railroad is just the absolute ban of the franchise. It, this is just worse than anything anything else that the franchise has made it, except for All Engines Go. Like, All Engines Go is probably the only thing I would say is worse than Thomas and the Magic Railroad, but aside from that, everything else is better than Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Series 1 to 24 of Thomas and Friends, all 24 seasons of Thomas and Friends from 1984 to 2021 are so much better than Thomas and the Magic Railroad. And not only that, though, but every other Thomas and Friends director DVD film from 2005 I've to 2018, all of them are legitimately better than Thomas and the Magic Railroad. And like I mentioned before, plenty of other fan-made Thomas and Friends films, films are better than Thomas and the Magic Railroad. And plenty of other fan-made Thomas and Friends episodes that I've seen on YouTube are, le are legitimately better than Thomas and the Magic Railroad. So yeah, I generally have no other reason to ever talk about Thomas and the Magic Railroad ever again. Now that I've honestly just said everything I have to say in this video. It's it's just an absolute travesty, this movie. It's an absolute travesty. And I just don't understand why people, people are trying to give this movie a pass. I really don't. And I just find it shocking and baffling how people constantly dump on Hit Entertainment and Mattel for ruining, ruining the franchise. When Britt Allcroft, she's equally just as bad as they are. She's equally just as toxic as Hit Entertainment and Mattel are. And not only that though, guys, Britt Allcroft, she's also just as toxic as many other animated, as many other companies I've seen. Like how Nintendo, like Nintendo has done some really bad things in the past. Asked, asked. And Disney, they keep on constantly making those crappy live action remakes that no one cares about. Is about. 
So, yeah, and let's also not forget about Warner Brothers. They've done a lot of really bad things as well in the past. So, yeah, Britt Allcroft, she's equally just as toxic as many other companies. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's honestly all I have to say. Uh, I think that's all I have to say for this video, guys. And not only that, though, guys, but I honestly just generally just don't want to talk about this movie ever again. Because I think I've said everything I have to say about it. I really have no other reason to talk about Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Other than it's just it's just an absolute travesty to the franchise. It really is. And not only that though, guys. But I honestly bet that for the past 24 years now. Reverend Wilbert Audrey has been rolling in his grave for the past 24 years. Because of this. Because of this movie that was made. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.